I have not opened this world since October 30th, 2021, and, uh, yeah, it's currently the 1st of March, so here I am. I'm not even wearing my scats much better, that's what I'm talking about. Obviously nothing has happened since you last watched this, so, um, I'm gonna get some new tools. Actually, I don't even need to get new tools, I'll just use these. But, uh, my goal was pearls, and I still don't have pearls, obviously. What better time to make a new shield, buddy? Welcome to your demise. So I have to enderman hunt without dying. That's the challenge. Trust me, this challenge would be infinitely easier if I was doing this on survival mode, but you know, I'm an idiot. So the stronghold's down there, but I don't have any of the materials that I need to light the portal. Why haven't I built a furnace? Guess I'm doing it now. Guess I just gotta play the waiting game until it becomes nighttime. I'm gonna want some scaffolding blocks, though. This stack of cobble should do the trick. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, hopefully I don't die. Okay, I'm totally fine, but I should probably go out to the desert. I'm debating if I should try to build a portal somewhere else, and then maybe go back to the warp forest and the nether. I honestly don't know, because there's a scary place out here with no armor on. There's already so many creepers and stuff, and there's no endermen. Honestly, I think I might just be a wimp and sleep. I mean, there's one enderman over there, but I honestly think it'd just be a better idea to go to the blue biome. Probably should have thought of that first. I guess I could kill this one enderman, though, while I have the chance. So I'm gonna build a little safe hut where I can't get killed by the enderman. Yeah, shoot, shoot the zombie. Shoot the zombie, not me. Why are you shooting me? Why would anybody ever do that? Where did the enderman go? So I teleport. Aha, I'm about to look at you. Yeah, come here. I will get your ender pearl. You didn't even drop one. Wow, that was really, really helpful. I'm honestly just gonna go to the nether and find a warped forest. Because that's like the only safe biome in the nether. I get that part. So I might have to traverse some other biomes. I'll take this boat out and I'll bring some backup food. And I'll head down here. Because there might be some lava. I just have to dig down. And I'm so forgetful. I should probably get some torches. Alright, make these torches. Alright, now I will head down to try to find lava. I need to get to the nether but in a different place than that desert portal took me. So I'm gonna mine this way a little bit. Mining some coal here in case I need more torches. Alright, lava, come to me. I know you're here. Oh, now you're- oh, wait, okay. So I should be able to just go right into it if I mine, like, right here. You're kidding me, gravel. So I'm gonna lock this off in case of emergency, and also because I'm a wimp, but I do have to make a new stone pickaxe, so it's a good thing I came prepared. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I forgot a flint and steel. Good thing I brought wood to light the portal. This is why wood in Minecraft is what we need. You know, ma imagine Minecraft without wood. I bet you can't. Should I beat Minecraft without wood? Oh, no, that's a stupid idea. I guess even though there's more gravel that fell, I'm still building a portal. Okay, portal build. I'm gonna open this up here. I'm gonna put my water there for now. Put some planks, get some lava, and I will put it here. And now wait. I'm waiting. This is taking an awfully long time. What if I make that lava? Do I have to move these bottom ones to the top? There, will you light up now? Does lava just not light this or what? If I put this here and then put a lava bucket here, it'll flow like that. Is that going to light it on fire? All right, come on, Minecraft. This is getting ridiculous. Do I have to break this cobblestone or is that just going to flow onto that? It won't even flow onto that. Now you have to light. Come on. What's sad is I really haven't made any progress since the beginning of this video and I've already been recording for 26 minutes. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess that- I guess that's the, the case. Are you kidding me, Minecraft? Did, did they just remove fire from the game? What do I need to get you to do to light this? Here, I'll pitch this idea. Lava bucket there. Lava flows down into that. What could possibly cause you to not light that on fire now, huh? See, I'm browsing the web right now, but what the lava doesn't know is that I can still see the portal. So could you just, um, light it up? It's starting to get ridiculous. What are what YouTube's recommending for me today? Jeez, I just watched an entire music video, but it finally lit. It's not supposed to take this long to light a nether portal. Alright, I've made a sort of safe nether portal area. Uh, so I'm gonna mention, it's day 20. I've been at this for a while. Not in this single session, but just overall. It, what? What? It brought me straight to a fortress. You're kidding me. Wait a minute, is this my fortress? This has to be it, right? That chest had no loot in it. This has to be that fortress. How could I find a warped forest, though? That's the question. I honestly think I might just slowly mine through here until I find one. 
Okay, maybe not. I don't even know where I am. I don't know if this is the fortress that I was at before or not. Why couldn't this have happened initially? Okay, this keeps happening. No, actually, I don't even think this is the fortress. When I shot that outro cinematic with replay mod, I don't think this is what I saw. I'm gonna go through so many stone pickaxes doing this. Guess this is number two. I'm about to pull a big brain move. I'm going back to this video. I had my coordinates on this whole time. Oh, wow, would you look at that? I just happen to have the coordinates of a warped forest now. How magical. Can I like my vi- Okay, no, I have to sign in. Of course, now that this is the only video it's ever tracked that I've watched, it's recommending me, uh, like, four more of my videos. I don't think people get recommended my videos anyway, but, you know, YouTube, that, that would be pretty cool. I only have 10 subscribers. I just heard a piglin, and now I'm scared. I just realized I'm 900 blocks away from that. Do I really want to go that far and have to track my location the entire time? Yes! I'm going to go through so many stone pickaxes, it won't even be nearly funny. Now that I think about it, I'm not really that far up. I might want to mine up a little bit. I won't do it yet, though. So it's negative 61, 174. Those are the coordinates that I need to mine, too. I never have any good recording opportunities. Luckily, my family's not home right now, so I can record in peace. I'm gonna go watch some nice YouTube videos while I mine. Hey, look at this. My bridge. I'm getting closer. Alright, so the biome says that I'm in a warped forest, but I'm still gonna mine all the way to those coordinates just because I know that's where I was finding the Enderman earlier. It seems like the safest place. For all I know, this could be over a lava pit. Also, uh, I had a little encounter with some lava, but uh, it's all okay. I patched it up and I'm still going. But don't worry, I'm being very careful up here. Even if it doesn't look like I am, I'm staying far away from where I'm mining so no lava flows into me. Okay, here we go. See, this is what I was talking about. If I had mined down, I would have fallen into lava directly. So there's that bastion. My bridge is prob- oh yeah, there's my bridge. Okay, so the war forest is actually right down there. I guess I typed the coordinates wrong because where I was fighting them was right down there. So I'm gonna go back a little bit. I think about right here should be good. I think we all know Dream's famous boat clutch, but I'm gonna do the easy way. So, um, fun fact about Java Edition. If you get in a boat and you flow all the way down- I just said flow. And you go down here, you take no damage. So I'm using it to my advantage. Okay, you know what? Now that I think about it, this actually doesn't look like the same exact place I was fighting Enderman before. I wanna be honest, this kind of looks like where I mine too. So you know what? Uh, I'm gonna admit that I was an idiot. Since I feel the most comfortable killing Enderman where I was, I'm gonna actually stack all the way back up. So I don't think I actually wrote the coordinates wrong. Alright, I'm here. I think this is almost the exact coordinates. Alright, well, I guess I'm here. I think I'm gonna mine a little bit this way. Home sweet home. Alright, so as far as I know, no mobs can spawn in this biome other than Enderman, so I should be basically safe. But I should probably keep in mind where I came from. In fact, I'm actually gonna make a staircase. Okay, there's a bunch of Endermen up here, so I'll kill these guys. Okay, first Enderman trap. And I still didn't get a pearl. Of course that happened, because my pearl luck is absolutely flawless. So yeah, this is a lot less stressful than doing it in the overworld. I definitely did not want to deal with those mobs. Come back down, this- you're stupid. <sighs> Another friend ready for the taking? Let's be honest, you don't want to watch me just kill Enderman for 12 minutes, do you? I mean, if you do for some reason, you can click the link in the description to watch me do it, but I don't really think you'd want to. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, I have 11 ender pearls, and I think it's officially time to get out of here. I don't remember what Y level I was at, so I'm going to go to about 115 Y, because that's where I think I was. You know what? I'm going to stop the recording to go back and see where it was. All right, I've started it up again. I'm going to go to negative 81, 184. Okay, yes, I am officially heading home. So I've reached about the end of this, and now I gotta get down there. And I heard a gas, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. Alright, I'm digging. Are, are you kidding me? I'm such an idiot. Alright, I made it into the tunnel. I am officially safe. I'm blocking this off. Here I am, back in the fortress. Oh, it feels good to be back. Alright, back up to the surface I go. So I've completed one of the harder steps of this, but I'm still yet to beat the dragon. Should I use beds? Is that a good idea? I'm probably gonna have to test that out in a single player world. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to take a recording break. I have been at this for about an hour and a half, I think. I have returned, and before I fight the dragon, I need to get a couple more things. I definitely need more arrows, and I'm also gonna go test something. I've got like a sample inventory here. This is like somewhat close to what my normal inventory would look like, so I'm heading in like this. By the way, this is just a test world. This is not the real stone tools world. So first step is shoot down all the towers. I think I might need to go up to this one. I think for the fight, I should probably bring two waters in case something happens to the other one. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. So now I can start shooting the dragon. Alright, here we go. So this is the part where I really need to test. So, 
Oh, what? What? <laughs> Alright, so good to know that didn't work. Alright, I'm gonna try that again. That might have just been a fluke. I have no idea what happened there. I've never seen that before. Alright, now I gotta test this. So I gotta run around here. I'm gonna place a bed. Place a block. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. Alright, so it, it does fly off. I'm gonna try to do as much of the killing as I can with the bow, because then I can just get the last shot and then it'll die. Now I gotta go find sheep. Let me chop some trees so I can make some fences. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't need to find sheep, I have a village. I can just relentlessly rob all of their beds instead. Hello friends, I'm gonna permanently borrow a, a couple of your beds. That's probably enough beds. This chicken needs to come with me. Look at me indoctrinating this chicken into its inevitable demise. So I don't really have a pen for you guys, so I'm kind of just going to give you a hole for now. Do I seriously have not a single block of cobblestone? No, 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 no. Fine, I'll just mine this. Come with me, friends. Here you are. And you won't be leaving. Hey, uh, I'm in the stronghold, I have my whole inventory ready, but for some reason the recording where I was killing all the chickens, uh, didn't save. But I'm looking at a YouTube video on how to navigate a stronghold, because I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where the portal room is. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. Wow, that was a lot closer than I thought. Okay, here I- Oh my god, a five-eye portal? I- I did not think I would find a five-eye portal. Alright, well, I need to go through the portal and I need to kill the ender dragon. Here we go. Please be an underground spawn. Yes, alright. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That is how it ends. The dragon is perched and it flies into me. And I can't escape.